everyone, today is July 4th, 2011. My name is Kadri and you are watching Heavy Metal News Weekly. And before we get to the news, I just wanted to say to all my American friends and viewers that happy 4th of July to you. But firstly, let's move on to Deep Purple and Deep Purple singer Ian Gillian has narrated a Polish documentary on the life of Frederick Chopin, a Polish composer, virtuoso pianist and music teacher of French-Polish parentage. And the documentary is produced by a TV Project and directed by Jerzy Jambruck. And its uh, complete title is Chopin's Story by Ian Gillian from Deep Purple and it aired on the uh, Polish channel Discovery Historia on June 21st and has won four international awards including Best Documentary in Florian Boris Brazil. A worldwide DVD release is in the works with more details to be made available in the near future. Japan's story by Ian Gillian from Deep Purple clocks in at around 23 minutes and is accompanied by a 10 minute bonus interview with, with Ian focusing on his involvement with the project. Evanescence is currently recording its self-titled third album at the Nashville studio with producer Nick Rasculinitz for a tentative October 4th release via Wind Up Records and in a brand new interview with MTV News M Evanescence vocalist Amy Lee stated that uh, uh, she can't give a good quote about the new album because it's probably the heaviest record Evanescence has ever done. Destroyer of the Universe, the new video from Swedish metallers Amon Amarth has been released and the performance clip was filmed on May 6th at the Theatre of Living Arts in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania by director David Brodsky of My Good Eye. And the guitarist Olavi Mikkonen commented that this time they wanted to catch the energy and atmosphere of a live show and therefore they went for a live video. Destroyer of the Universe comes off Amona Mart's 8th studio album Searcher Rising, which sold around 15,000 copies in the United States in its first week of release and landed at position number 34 on the Billboard 200 chart. Havat, the new Finnish band featuring Lauri Tohima, who is an ex member of Embrace and member of For My Pain, alongside with two other members of Embrace has made its four song demo EP and uh, you can find the free download to the EP uh, down in the, the, in the description box below. So if you click the link down in the description box below uh, you can download Harvard's new EP for free. Empu Vorinen of Nightwish, Sandari Kali of Amorphis, Gus G of Firewind and Ozzy Osbourne and Joni Hynynen of Kodelisus are among the guest musicians who will appear on Rauch, the th third album of Heavy Saurus, a Finnish heavy metal band which wears dinosaur costumes and makes music for children. The CD is scheduled for release on September 28th and according to Helsinki Sanomat, many Finnish parents also like Heavy Saurus, as it differs from adult heavy metal only with respect to the lyrics and the fact that instead of musicians adorned with heavy metal attire and makeup, the music is performed by four dinosaurs and a dragon. Danzig's previously announced South American tour, which was scheduled to take place in late July, has been cancelled due to complications with travel that were beyond anyone's control. And according to a posting on the band's official website, Danzig regret any inconvenience to their fans and promise to return as soon as possible. And in other news, Danzig Legacy TV special is being filmed in Los Angeles this summer and this is being directed by Mark Brooks. And more information will be released soon. As previously reported, Glenn Danzig will headline Riot Fest on October 7th at Congress Theatre in Chicago, Illinois 
and perform a career-spanning show featuring sets of Danzig, Shaman and Misfits songs with none other than ex-Misfits Axeman Doyle von Frankenstein joining Glenn on guitar for the Misfits set. Cataclysm recorded the single The Iron Will last week in Montreal, Canada with guitarist-producer Jean-Francois Dagenet and uh, this new single will be mixed this fall by Tew Madston in Denmark and will be released with a video clip on iTunes one month before the release of the documentary DVD The Iron Will 20 Years Determined which depicts the ups and downs of the band's long turbulent career one that made Cataclysm one of the to today's top names in extreme music. The Iron Will DVD will be released in the spring of 2012 and will include this year's live performance from the Summer Breeze Festival. Vocalist guitarist Adam Nergal Darski of Polish extreme metalist Behemoth attended a hearing on Wednesday, June 29th at the district court in Gdania, Poland, Poland in connection with the September 2007 incident when he reportedly called the Catholic Church the most murderous cult on the planet during the band's performance in Gdania and tore up a copy of the Bible calling it the Book of Lies. And while giving evidence on Wednesday, as witness Starsky confirmed that the Bible incident took place, but stressed that the concert at which it occurred was a closed event attended by several hundred people, none of whom felt offended by the tearing of the Bible and the accompanying words. And Tarski said the following quote, I am a free man living, I hope, in a free country. Although I do not publicly recognize the principles outlined in the Bible or in the Ten Commandments, that does not mean I am not a decent and useful human being. And I completely agree with Adam Nurgle. Darsky and I really hope that the charges against him are dropped. And for the last news, German hard rock veteran Scorpions will perform rearrangements of their own hits accompanied by German film orchestra Babelsberg at the 20th anniversary of Berlin Classic Open Air 2011. And the Berlin Classic Open Air is a string of classical concerts that takes place every year during summer. Featuring a range of different performances, the program this year runs from July 7th to July 12th and includes Italian opera and operetta, German opera and crossover productions that incorporate pop, rock, soul and jazz. So these were all the news for this week. I hope you liked them. Uh, and uh, thank you so much for watching and commenting and subscribing and if you want to check out uh, uh, the shout out to new bands I made uh, last week then click here and if you want to see last week's news if you missed them in case you can click here and uh, as I said this is it I will see you again next Monday with new news so bye